The theory of planned behavior. The theory of planned behavior predicts the likelihood of people to engage in a behavior. It includes attitudes to the behavior, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control. All of this leads to a behavioral intention, which eventually turns out into a behavior or not. To better explain, to better explain this framework, I'm going to give an example. Meet Jose. Jose is a 25-year-old man who has a bright future ahead of him, but he's not happy at his job. He's considering to become an entrepreneur. Now, his attitudes towards the behavior are the consequences or the effects of that decision. So what he thinks, what expectations he has if he becomes an entrepreneur. So he might think, well, if I become an entrepreneur, I'll finally feel more accomplished. I can finally have some meaning on my life. I can create an impact and change the world. I can finally be in charge of my life and my destiny. His subjective norms will be the influence that other people has on him. So his peers in favor or against that decision might have different opinions and it depends which influence the most on him. So people might say, hey, think about your job security. You have never been an entrepreneur before. What will you start now? Bills. How are you going to pay your bills while you are building an enterprise? Other people might, 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 might say, follow your passion. Make an impact. Trust in yourself. You can make it. You can change the world. His perceived behavioral controls are all of the obstacles that he sees he's going to face if he were to take that decision. So he might think that the obstacles are hard and he won't be able to overtake them or that whatever comes on his way, he's going to be able to manage it. For this case, we're going to assume that Jose has positive attitudes towards becoming an entrepreneur, meaning that he links only pleasure and benefit out of quitting his job and becoming an entrepreneur. He'll have a positive behavioral beliefs. He, let's say that he, he decides to be influenced more from the people that support his decision and that he feels that he can overtake any obstacles. To such end, he will have a strong intention, which will lead to the behavior. How do we see this every day? Well, we see most of it in marketing. Companies that are trying to influence our decisions and our behaviors like Adidas, Nike, Under Armour, even campaigns like non-smoking campaigns, they try to portray us not only information about their products and campaigns, but they try to portray us attitudes towards the behavior, meaning how are we going to benefit if we consume they try to protect us subjective norms, meaning if other people are doing it or the society is doing it also. And perceived behavioral control. They try to avoid any obstacles to actually engage in that behavior. And this is how it's best explained the theory of planned behavior. Thank you.